the buyer listens to, what they read, what they look at, uh, how often they look at it, do they believe it, do they like it, do they don't like it, do they use social media, or do they not use social media? Do they use traditional media? What about guerrilla media? And once you find the media that attracts them, then you craft your message so it fits that media. And that involves persuasion and understanding how people think. And that's a whole area unto itself. What can you say? What can you show them in terms of pictures? How do you say it? How do you frame it? So that it becomes very persuasive. All of that is marketing communications. And that's what we study in marketing communications class. I hope you find it interesting because it deals with people and how they think and how they act. Looking forward to seeing you in class and I hope you do decide to take marketing communications. New marketing methods have come about due to changing consumerism as a result of which we are engaging consumers in various products and services. Therefore, the essence of having knowledge in this area is important and one of the methods we use is event marketing. More and more firms are emphasizing on event marketing as, as tools to engage with audiences and therefore this expertise is required in students graduating from AUS. While doing so, we also emphasize on using event marketing as a medium to engage with audiences to emphasize on experiential marketing. The other course I teach is tourism destination marketing. This course emphasizes on tourism and the marketing of destinations. Essentially, this is an important component of uh, the landscape of any country. What the importance here is also from the UAE context where tourism uh, has taken center stage. Uh, here at AUS, we teach tourism destination marketing to get students to engage with the various aspects of marketing principles and concepts, including branding.